Hey, what is up guys? Jian here of Gadget Pilipinas. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I actually posted a video. Medyo one week din ako nawala, no? But this time, I am back. And uh, this time, we're going to give you a quick solution to an issue or concern to some of you who own a Huawei device. In this video, pag-uusapan natin kung ano ba yung currently na best solution to put Google in your Huawei smartphone. Right now, Huawei smartphones are powered by Huawei Mobile Services or HMS. Ibig sabihin, kapag naghahanap ka ng mga Google native applications that uh, normally run on GMS or Google Mobile Services, hindi mo yan makikita sa mga Huawei smartphones like the one I have here, which is the Huawei Mate 50 Pro. Now, in this video, pag-uusapan natin kung ano yung best na solution para mailagay mo yung Google on your Huawei smartphones. And for those of you watching in other countries, this is a solution that you may be looking for. This is one way for you to really put Google in your Huawei smartphone. Ngayon, alam ko, some of you uh, may alam no, kung ano yung uh, best solution na sinasabi ko dito. But uh, for those of you who are not aware kung ano ito, I'm actually referring to Gbox. Now, Gbox is actually a supplement to App Gallery. Alam naman natin na ang Huawei, it's running on Huawei Mobile Services, meron siyang sarili niya na App Repository no, or App Store. Ang tawag dito ay App Gallery. Ang App Gallery ang App Store ng mga Huawei smartphones. Marami sa mga applications na makikita mo sa Google Play Store can actually be found no, on App Gallery. Pero marami rin naman na wala. Kaya marami mga users ng Huawei smartphones ang naghahanap ng ways no, para makapag-install ng Google Play Store sa kanilang mga smartphones. At gagana yung mga applications na ito. Dito sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin kung saan ba mada-download, paano i-install, paano i-maintain, paano i-update yung mga applications, paano i-delete yung Gbox, at ano mangyayari kapag di-delete mo yung Gbox. Alright, so this time let's now install this Gbox on our Huawei Mate 50 Pro. The first thing we need to do is to go to browser, and then you go to https colon slash slash gboxlab.com. Ayan na, na-prepare ko na yun dito. Next, the next you need to do is to click free download. Libre lamang yan, no? wala yung ads, so you don't need to worry about that. And it will be downloaded when you click the download button. Okay? Now, there is a beta version. I do not recommend that you download that. And also a 32-bit version. 64-bit na yung ating kailangan download at a default na yan. And uh, here we go. We just allow the browser to install it. Press the install. And it will now start installing Gbox. And that's it. Install the Gbox. The next thing we need to do is we click open and then you will find here user agreement and privacy policy. Now you have the option to read the user agreement sa privacy policy by clicking the green buttons if you want to. And if you refuse, then hindi mo magagamit ngayon yung Gbox. But if you accept, then you will be able to use Gbox. Siyempre, may mga steps dito para ma-optimize mo yung paggamit ng Gbox. And one here is, of course, disabling battery optimization. It says here, when disabled, Gbox will remain running in the background. This allows you to receive timely notifications from this app but also increases battery consumption. Next, i-click mo yung check na button and see kung ano pa yung mga na-miss mo. So far, require permissions. Click natin yan. Let's just allow only while in use and click allow Gbox to make and manage phone. Allow Gbox to send and view SMS. You can deny this if you want to, no? But one of the most important things here is to access media and files on your device because that would allow Gbox to download certain files to your storage. And that's pretty much everything. Now, there are also other steps here for it to auto-start at saka prevent one-click cleanup. Kasi kapag ka nag-one-click cleanup ka, Using your Huawei smartphone, ang mangyayari, baka mabura din yung Gbox saka yung mga dependencies no, nung applications na dinownload ng Gbox. So, you can just simply click these things and follow the steps indicated in the instructions. And these are actually very easy to follow, honestly. No? And I never had any difficulties doing this. Even my dad and my mom can do this. Kasi step by step yung... Uh, proseso. But in my case, this, I believe these are already running and already set up and we're basically good to go. Tandaan natin, no, ang Gbox libre lang ito, wala kang dapat bayaran. In fact, no, even if we go through here, marami dito na mga contact details, quick feedback, and things that you need to know about Gbox. No? It's pretty transparent and uh, that's pretty much everything. Now, it says here as well, recommended applications and magugulat ka, wala dito yung Play Store. Because ito yung mga native applications muna na pinapakita sa'yo na Google mismo. No? For example, pinakasikat dito ay yung tinatawag natin na Google Drive. No? 
let's go and keep allow keep allow only while in use and that's it you will now be asked to sign in using your um, account no ngayon no nasa inyo kung gusto niyo gamitin yung inyong personal na account ako ginagamit ko naman yung personal account ko i never had any issues no but if you want no uh, you can use uh, a, a, a different no a gmail account if you want to uh, for some say extra protection but you know to me it's not an issue because ako marami ako mga binili na mga applications on my on play store no may mga apps ako that i want actually to retrieve no and uh, play again and use on my huawei smartphone and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just simply sign in using my personal account. Siyempre, i-blur ko muna ito, guys, no? yung aking details. But uh, we'll still go and proceed with uh, the usual process. Now, once you've logged in, magugulat ka kasi baka magkaroon ka ng notification na you're signing in from a different model phone. Ang ginagawa kasi ng Gbox ay vini-virtualize niya yung environment. No? Kaya hindi niya iniisip ngayon ng telepono nung Gbox na you're using a Huawei Mate 50 Pro. Kaya kapag tinignan mo ngayon to sa email mo, lalabas usually yan kapag mayroong mga um, security emails. No? Sinasabi na you're attempting to uh, sign in using this particular device. You will notice na baka lumabas dyan ay Android 12 o ibang model. No? Huwag kayong magulat doon kasi that is uh, uh, very common. Now, uh, I just approved it and this time I'm now asked if I will be using this device or my child will be using this device. Sa mga bumili sa inyo ng uh, mga matepad no, na bibigyan nyo sa mga bata, syempre ang kikilik nyo dyan ay yung my child will be using this device. No? If not, then of course I will be using this device na kikilik ninyo. In my case, that will be my choice. And that's it. Agree. And then getting account info. At ito na, no? ini-install na ngayon yung Google services. And that's it. Everything now is here on my Mate 50 Pro. Wala akong ginawang ibang steps. No? I just simply downloaded Gbox Lab, followed the quick instructions, and that's it. I already have Google Drive right here. I just simply need to install pala. No? Kasi hindi ko pala install. Nakita ko pa lang siya. And that's it. No? I'm now downloading Google Drive very quickly. That's it. Tapos na. Ang maganda dito is that each time I download an application, I will be asked now to add these applications to home screen. Alam mo na dinaulo mo siya from Gbox kasi yung icon niya, if I click add, yung icon niya meron siyang parang Gbox na icon sa baba. No? Like in this case, Google Drive, sa baba niya meron nakalagay na parang G na icon on the lower right corner. Huh? So yun yung way for you to really know if this one, if this application that you just downloaded was from Gbox. Ngayon, kung ang telepono o yung tablet na Huawei na gamit mo naman ay gagamitin ng iyong anak, kadalasan gagamitin dyan ay Google Meet, no? Google Classroom, available din yan dito sa ating uh, Gbox. No? So, essentially kasi meron ka ng uh, Play Store. No? So, wala ka ng problema doon dahil may Play Store ka na via Gbox. Now, all you just simply need to do is just simply uh, go to um, one of the applications. No? What's gonna happen is just simply attempt to look for a, an app. For example, Google Classroom. And we found it. Just click install. Google Meet. Para at least makita ninyo na lahat ng mga hinahanap-hanap natin ng mga applications na andito rin. At gagana siya. Hindi kasi, hindi kasi uh, dapat lang yung ha hahanapin mo at tandun siya. No? Dapat gaga na rin. That's very, very important. No, uh, banking applications also, they're here. No? For example, BPI no? or let's say uh, Maya. No? Now, Maya, I believe, is in App Gallery. So, you don't need to download it via uh, Gbox Lab. No? So, add natin yan, BPI Mobile. And then also, let's look for Wild Drift. Kasi ang Wild Rift, wala yan sa App Gallery. That's it, to oh. Install. Ah, before ko pala makalimutan, Disney Plus. No? Importante yan. Kasi kakalabas lang yan sa Pilipinas. Ayun, Disney Plus. And install. We're now installing it. Now, we're just going to wait for these things to be downloaded and installed on our system and we'll try to open them up. Next, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you kung paano ba i-update mismo yung Gbox. No? Now, all you need to do is just simply go to the Gbox and then click yung hamburger button na yan and then click yung app update. 
and it will just simply tell you if there's a new update from Gbox o kaya naman ay ito na yung latest version. And in our case, this is 1.3.26. At the time of the production of this video, ito yung pinaka latest. So kapag kiniklik ko ngayon yung app update, siya sabi niya na is the latest version. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click practice and just to show you guys kung ano mangyayari, no? If we're going to play uh, this game, no? And uh, let's see, no? Kung ano ang performance niya, even even if you downloaded the application via Gbox. Kasi some, some people say na malaki ang magiging effect nito sa inyong gaming performance or in accessing your favorite applications. So this is just going to be a uh, proof, no? That uh, it is really possible and there's no drastic change in the performance of your applications. So let's see. Easy partner. So far, so good. Practice naman to, so at least it's working out properly. Always trouble. Ooh. <laughs> so I guess that's a quick proof that it's really working and there's no really problem even if you downloaded the application via Gbox. So at this point naman, I'm gonna teach you or I'm gonna tell you how you are going to uninstall Gbox at ano ang mangyayari kapag ininstall mo siya. This time naman, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano naman na i-delete no, yung Gbox. Now all you need to do is very simple. All you need to do is just simply press and hold Gbox dun sa pinaka home screen natin just like this. And then you click uninstall. And that's pretty much everything you need to do no para ma-uninstall mo yung Gbox. Now what's going to happen here is that kapag ka ininstall mo yung Gbox, lahat ng mga applications that you install using Gbox will also be uninstalled. So malinis na malinis yung magiging proseso niya at uh, hindi siya magiging kumaga parang marami pang dapat gawin para i-delete mo isa-isa yung lahat ng mga ininstall mo. And that's it guys, no? as you can see, napakadali lang niya i-download at saka dali niya i-install, saka uninstall if you want to. But right now, Gbox is the best way for you to put Google on your Huawei smartphone. Sana nakatulong tong video na to para sa inyo. No? Thank you so much for watching. Again, this has been Gian no? of Gadget Pilipinas. Maraming salamat sa supporta and I will see you next time. Bye!